Hi, this is Darren Pru. I'm in Southern California. It's a beautiful day. We've got some members of the Land Bank Association Board of Directors that came on a trip to uh, the Antelope Valley to see how the property's going and to report back at the association meeting. Hi, my name is Ray Nario. I'm president of the Association for Land Bank 10. I'm down here uh, today to uh, take a look at the uh, progress on the site and uh, see what the town is doing, how the town is growing towards our property. Um, looking forward to uh, sharing those results with the uh, uh, members of Land Bank 10 when we get back uh, for the annual meeting. Hi, I'm Cheryl Hayes. I'm the vice president for the Land Bank Association for Land Bank 11. And we purchased our land bank back in 2005. And today I'm just really interested to see how things have changed. I haven't been down here since then. And so just looking forward to seeing all the development that's happened and what, what's going on closer to our property today. Hi, I'm Rick Kaur. I'm the vice president for Land Bank 34. We're here down to take a look at the property and see the progress of development in the area and uh, get a general idea of how the development is growing in the Lancaster Palmdale area. Um, I'm Al Young down here in uh, Burbank. Um, representing actually two land banks here. I'm actually the uh, secretary of land bank number 11 and the president of land bank number 33. Um, so a um, couple of object objectives I have in coming down here is of course to see the uh, progression of growth in the uh, valley where we're planning to visit in a couple of minutes. And of course, just to get another uh, quick uh, view of uh, my particular land banks. It's been um, at least over five years since I was down here. So looking forward to see how the growth has progressed out to those, uh, those specific areas. Um, so hopefully this will be an exciting uh, uh, visit here and uh, look forward to, uh, to talking to you guys again at uh, the upcoming uh, board meeting. Hi, I'm Holly Christman. I work for Land Resource Management. I've been with the company for five years now. Uh, this is my first trip to Antelope Valley, so I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I am also a land bank owner and land bank 11. So we'll check out the west side, we'll go to some of the commercial development in the area, we'll go out to the industrial area, there's, there's an enterprise zone out here that gives incentives for uh, employment. We'll come so is out that really side. where most of the employment is besides like the service stuff that's more urban? There and Plant 42, there's a lot of jobs at Plant 42. You got the military families in buying homes out here to go to... Well, Edwards Air Force that? Base sits about right yeah. here. And uh, there are a lot of people that live in the Antelope Valley that work in Edwards, but it's about 40 minutes away. And you can live closer to Edwards anyway, cheap, right? Yes, you, yeah, and there's, it's more affordable to live closer, but it's, it's a little more uh, rural. But we'll, I'll show you all this. Can you just grow going up this way? It's kind of gone out. There's another city up here called uh, Rosemont. But it's really kind of gone out. But you can see it, it's going to go out and it's going to hit these mountains. Can't go much further that direction. And are there any plans to annex that square 10 or 9? If there were a development project planned, they won't annex until they can have income to offset their expenses. If they annex, they have to now provide fire, sewer, water utilities, things like this. They won't annex until there's a project. But if a project were developed on that piece of property, and why would there be? Well, that's a big piece of property. It's 400 and some acres. You can't find large parcels like that out here. So there's one big parcel right here that's owned by Gold House Farms or Gold House Properties. But aside from that big piece, Gold House Properties, there's our land bank, and then there's one further out about another three or four miles. The rest are smaller pieces. And so if a big project were developed there or planned there, annexations like it. So let's go take a look.
Well, we've uh, made our first stop out here. Uh, we're now in the Antelope Valley. Uh, we traveled about uh, 46 miles. It took us uh, 48 minutes. Uh, it's as we expected. It's built up here. Um, beautiful place. This whole park complex here is about uh, uh, built up in about 1994. Uh, a lot of people out here, so uh, yeah, definitely some growth is is uh, is a uh, potential there for the rest of the town. But the, this place is established now, and it was uh, obviously a uh, a blank slate uh, a few years back. We just pulled over into this neighborhood and driving around, came across this open house. So we came in, uh, got a foreclosure here, $180,000, 1,800 square feet, uh, which is about 100 bucks a square foot. Just toured a house that's uh, been a foreclosure for 180,000 and it's in a neighborhood called Rancho Vista on the west side of Lancaster. Um, needs paint and carpet. It's probably built in the early 2000s, early to mid 2000s. Um, the neighborhood seems to be fairly well owner occupied. There are some short sales and things going on, but um, pretty stable neighborhood it seems like. Um, hi, this is um, Al. Um, we just is following up here on the discussion on the Real Vista neighborhood. Speaking to one of the realtors there, um, in his in his opinion, he believes the neighborhood has um, stabilized or flattened out in in pricing. Doesn't appear that uh, there's um, any indication that it may go down any further than it is right now, um, which is a good sign. It uh, kind of gives the impression that uh, maybe we might have hit the uh, the bottom in this uh, side of the, um, or this area of uh, um, Lancaster. Neighborhood looks pretty well maintained. Um, looks uh, predominantly owner occupied. Um, there are some, you know, a few foreclosures and uh, short sales in the area but there's not there doesn't appear to be a glut of them which is also a good sign as well it looks like uh, there's a lot more of um, like I said um, owner occupied homes here which uh, definitely keeps the values uh, pretty stable in this uh, part of Lancaster hi we're in a new home that's built by Richmond in America in Quartz Hill which is located between Palmdale and Lancaster and the new homes here are going for a 2,500 square foot home is going for 236,000. In the last couple of weeks, they've had over seven sales in this division and another one that's an adjacent one by, owned by the same builder. Uh, he said the sales activity when interviewed with the sales agent on site, that uh, activity is picking up. Uh, the, the high price for these homes, the 2,550 is 236 for just under $100 a square foot. What kind of buyers are you getting? The quality of the person, we're seeing low, low FICO scores, 580 and less, can't get a loan, don't have a down payment. You have to have at least 3.5% down, so they don't have really anything like that. But the buyers here in 45th M8 and here, we're seeing, we are seeing the short sale people, you know, can't qualify for a loan and foreclosure. We are seeing that still. But we are seeing a lot of people are transferring out in the area. Um, because of the base and Lockheed and Northrop, I will say that. Are you buying yeah. the interest rate down? No, they yes. Be that yes. So how, well, if you're buying the interest rate down a point or something? Is it... The market rate is like about 5% or just a tiny bit less than that. So if they have great <clears throat> FICO score, it costs us, I don't remember exactly what it is, but it's like a, a point or two points. We pay for that. I mean, like we got like financing, like a hundred million dollars financing. And we, we use that up in three weeks with our, wow. you know, 10 states. So, wow. and we sold, I mean, I think in this promotion, we sold like 600 homes, something like that. What, what do you guys own land right now? On the east side, J and 40th. J and 40th, right by our community then. Where's your community over there? 30th and J. East side? Yes. We've got land in East Lancaster, so we're just, yeah, we're just investors, investors and we just wanted to come down. We haven't been in the Antelope Valley in some time, so we wanted to come down and just kind of 
check out things and see how things are going. So you've had a, a good sales over the last few weeks. Mm -hmm. Very good sales last fall too. It just was a little slow there. We just had a little slump in the winter time. And it seemed to be kind of all over the valley, so I don't think it was specific to a particular area. Was this always your community, or did you guys buy some finished lots? We bought some finished lots from, I think it was Matthews, Matthews Homes or something like that. Yeah, they were all done. Actually, they had two models that they have another agent sitting at that investors bought. You know, started building the models, left them, left land, so. Mm -hmm. The other side of us was a Pulte neighborhood, and on this side of me was D.R. Harden. And they're not building now, or um, are they still? So? Dio Hurton has something in East Palmdale. Pulte pulled out of the Antelope Valley about two and a half, three years ago. Mm -hmm. A good school district. You know, they have High Melrose over there, but yeah, it's a good location. Mm -hmm. yeah, they, ad here. Mm -hmm. they adjust very quick, though. As soon as they don't have sales, they just keep lowering pricing. That's just kind of what they. I see. I've said it as them for a long time, so. Mm -hmm. So they just <laughs> keep adjusting until they get mm -hmm. sales, whether they make money or not. You think they're making money? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Depends on what they bought the land for. Mm hmm. You know, the school fees and everything, you know, the improvements are so much more expensive than they were like 1999, 2000. You know, and I'd say the prices are close to where they were. Oh, when did I sell out here before? I usually, I usually sell either here or Valencia. Um, maybe when I sold out Quartz Hill, like 2001, 2002 pricing, I think we're close to where we were back then. Is that right? Mm -hmm. So 2001, 2002. Mm -hmm. And it, when did prices really start to run up? 2004, 2005. Mm -hmm. yeah, and then it died and when? Mm -hmm. Started trailing off, I would say. Started seeing the market starting to decline. Because um, I worked for Lenore at the time. I'm trying to think we had three communities out here. 2007, and by. 2008 it was definitely declining, yeah. but we were pretty much out of this market, and then just down in Valencia, but we have the same issues in Valencia too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how much are lots going for now? Improved lots? That I don't know because I don't do the land side of it. I mean, I remember back in the old days, they used to be able to get them for like you know, twenty, thirty thousand dollars, thirty thousand improved lot. I don't think you can get them that inexpensive with all the fees and stuff that the cities require now. Mm -hmm. That's why I said I don't know if you could make a whole lot of money building unless. I think I know that's all we were looking at was improved land. Hi, well, we're here in the uh, Beezer uh, new home development uh, on the, um, I believe it's on the west side of the main freeway. Uh, we just had an opportunity to talk to um, one of the agents here selling the lots. Um, things seem to be very, fairly positive. Um, some of the statistics she gave us was the fact that um, there tends to be, there seems to be 40% uh, Make up of VA type buyers, and um, interesting uh, fact to note is that a majority of what she's seen are uh, engineers coming into the community here to relocate to uh, take some of the local aerospace jobs. I also asked her about the uh, the credit challenges she was having in trying to get some of these uh, buyers qualified. She was saying that um, there's still a lot of challenges there. Every buyer has a different story, but uh, one interesting point she was indicating that the engineers seem to be the best uh, qualified in order to uh, be able to buy into this community and uh, qualify for those VA loans. So anyway, you can see some of the background here. We do have um, some homes still under development. Uh, looks like the community, from what I saw in the real estate office, looks like they're approximately 40 or 50 percent um, uh, pretty much uh, almost sold out here. So. Um, Looks good. Um, in her opinion, the business, the business uh, looks pretty good. Um, pretty much picking up from where it uh, left off uh, last year. So, um, you can, I guess, you can say that uh, you know we're definitely in a point of stabilization here. It appears. How many uh, lots do you have here? We have 92. 92 lots? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
And you build, you're gonna close these down and build another model complex. No, I, I'm not sure how they're gonna run that, but mm -hmm. um, we haven't got any details. I have five homes here though, and what I'm doing is I'm focusing on those five as if I don't have any more coming. That okay. way, whenever I get those sold, then we can work on the next stuff. But yeah. since you're all investors, I thought I would share that information. Are, we, uh, <laughs> are you giving incentives for the five that you have, or what's yes, the deal? Yes, we are. We're mm -hmm. close, uh, paying closing costs. Awesome buying rate down to about four and a quarter at this time mm -hmm. for this okay. weekend. So, and what are the prices here? The pricing that we have is uh, two seventeen to two forty five. Okay, so for how many square feet? Square footage is twenty one hundred to uh, twenty seven sixty at this time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. Yeah. And is the pricing for as is, or are there a bunch of upgrades that aren't included? There's actually, well, um, no, it doesn't include any upgrades. They go to the design studio and they get to meet with the decorator for that. So we're checking out another uh, complex. Again, these uh, these homes are uh, lots that were uh, existing lots, and they picked them up from prior sellers. Uh, they're getting ready to switch models here, actually. So they're selling what's left of what they've had and then they're gonna build new houses, uh, new models on the same property in the, in the existing lots that are already prepped. Uh, interesting phenomenon, I mean, some of these houses are pretty big. This house is about 3,200 square feet. Um, it's 290,000, so uh, the, the phenomenon we've seen here on this trip is that the, uh, the bigger the house, you get below $100 a square foot. And uh, so if you get down into the 1,800, you know, uh, standard three bedroom, two bath size uh, home, uh, they, they're popping up more like $115 a square foot, 120 So it, definitely you're getting more for your money if you go bigger. Um, and there's plenty of uh, supply out here to, to take advantage of for right now. But once this is done, then they're going to go back into uh, moving away from the existing lots eventually and then back into uh, ac acquiring, uh, you know, big, big lots for future developments. So we're in downtown Lancaster now. We've just finished our tour of looking at all the land bank properties. What we saw when going through some of the new home sales is that all the realtors are pretty positive. We've had some good sales. There's been a good surge of uh, energy in terms of uh, buyers coming out. Um, a lot of uh, what, what we learned today was the fact that there's a lot of engineering jobs coming into the valley in terms of the aerospace industry and for mining. And with those uh, new engineering jobs, uh, they, they feel that the sales are gonna continue to grow. There wasn't a lot of new projects that are underway yet. So the, uh, the opti optimistic look towards uh, where the land is gonna go, uh, we're right in the path of where the growth is going and we're right where we wanna be. So it's been great to have an opportunity to come down and see what's been going on. I haven't been down here since 2005 and I um, was happy to see that um, there's been development that's happened since we purchased. Uh, there continues to be some new home development and the realtors do seem optimistic that houses are selling. Uh, we also drove through some existing communities and saw that you know there are some uh, foreclosures and, and short sales happening, but a lot of the communities we drove through looked like they were in fairly good shape being maintained, um, so that was good to see. Uh, with respect to uh, large-scale new development that appears to be on hold for now, really what's happening is um, already uh, uh, prepared lots are being purchased uh, probably at a deep discount, uh, which is enabling new homes to be built at a, at a price that attracts buyers in this kind of a, an economy. Uh, so until those are used up, it's probably going to be a while until we see large-scale development of, of land, um, especially if it's not already entitled um, and partially developed. Um, but generally speaking, I mean, there the, seems to be a lot of activity going on down here, so that was really nice to see. Uh, we're wrapping up the day here in uh, downtown Lancaster. Uh, I'm just kind of trying to summarize basically how things went. Uh, visited uh, quite a few uh, housing developments. and. Um, I think the general consensus from what we're getting from the agent's business uh, is seems to be uh, reasonably uh, picking up pretty reasonably well. Um, there does appear to be some uh, reasonable activity at the various developments. Um, one of the uh, 
issues that I was able to notice from all the um, uh, all, all the uh, sellers here is that um, they're having a hard time qualifying buyers because the lenders are just not um, being as relaxed with uh, giving out home loans. So I think that's pretty much key to um, having recovery here in this area. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention is that uh, as far as our land banks are concerned, um, some of them are a bit far out. Um, may take one or two cycles before we start seeing some growth in those areas. But generally speaking, um, I think, you know, overall long term, uh, there is a, a pretty a positive outlook um, in this area here. All right, we're closing out the day here. My name is Ray. Uh, we've had a pretty full day uh, looking at a lot of building complexes. Uh, we're now in downtown Lancaster right off the main drive here. Uh, Pretty noteworthy is uh, there's activity here. Downtown is active. Uh, don't see a bunch of storefronts closed up, so it looks like activity, business activity is doing okay. Uh, we heard from the uh, people at the uh, home complexes, the uh, people who are buying homes out here right now. A lot of engineers, about 30, 40 percent of the VA uh, loans are, are the ones that are getting uh, the homes out here. So uh, it looks like you know there's un there's employment going on with the military complex, whether that's Plant 42 or over at Edwards. But people want to live out here and uh, and, and get to work and buy a house, and uh, so it it bodes well for the future. You know, we're going to have to be a little steady and then wait a little bit for uh, for the markets to recover. But uh, uh, it's still a good deal, and I'm still in land banking because it's the right place to be.